a lot of people have been saying that President Bush, and including the Senate report, didn't know the full extent of what they had been doing at the CIA in terms of the what they called the enhanced interrogation, but what every other person calls torture, because that has been its legal definition throughout history. Uh, and that he found out in 2006 when he saw that a detainee had been chained up to a wall and wearing uh, diapers and that he had gone to the bathroom on himself and that he was uncomfortable with that. What's really interesting is that the guys who worked for Bush disagree. They're saying, no, 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 the boss knew all along. The Senate Intelligence Report does not hold Bush accountable enough. Really? That can't be true. They didn't really say that, did they? Well, first, let's take a look at Rove here. The report says that President Bush didn't know about these enhanced interrogation techniques until 2006. You were there. Was that true? No. In fact, he says in his book, it uh, describes how he was briefed and intimately involved in the decision. He made the decision. He was presented, I believe, 12 techniques. He authorized the use of 10 of them, including waterboarding. This is in a footnote, and it is illustrative of the problem with this report. Hmm. Why is Rove all of a sudden, no, 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 Bush knew. Bush definitely knew. Uh, is he alone? No. Nope. Here comes Dick Cheney. The Feinstein report suggests that President Bush was not fully briefed on the program and was deliberately kept in the dark by the CIA. Not true. Didn't happen. Read his book. He talks about it extensively in, the, uh, in his memoirs. He was, in fact, uh, uh, an integral part of the program. He had to approve it before we went forward with it. But I think that he knew everything he needed to know and wanted to know about the program. And there's no question. I mean, did he know the details? Uh, I think he knew the, certainly the techniques, that we did discuss the techniques. There's nothing, uh, there was no effort on our part to keep him from that. He was just as with the terrorist surveillance program. On the terrorist surveillance program, he had to personally sign off on that every 30 to 45 days. So the notion that the committee's trying to peddle it, somehow the agency was operating on a rogue basis and we weren't being told or the president wasn't being told, it was just a flat out lie. So why throw President Bush under a bus? because that's exactly where they don't want to wind up. So if someone ever charges them, if there's anybody with uh, moral fiber in their being in Washington in leadership, which they should rest assured is not likely to happen, uh, and they want to go after these war criminals, Rove and Cheney are right now saying, what me? Who's the big guy? Bush authorized it. He knew. He knew. Look at his memoirs. He knew all the techniques. Me? I don't know what you're talking about. I was just following orders. 